When was the last time you thought about your identity? My name is Kayla, and today I want to lead us in a prayer of identity in Christ. There was a time in my life when I took on the identity of the world. In my professional career, I let my aspirations and goals define me. In my personal life, I let my identity rest in what others would say about and think about me. I put my value and worth in relationships, and those relationships in that season just left me broken and empty. I always thought the more I tried, the better I would feel, or the more money I made, the happier I would become. But it wasn't until I realized that my identity was first and most importantly as a daughter in Christ. In 1 John chapter 3, verses 1-3, through 3, it says, See what kind of love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. And what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when He appears, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He is. And Everyone who thus hopes in Him purifies Himself as He is pure. This means that God loves us and we are His children on a lifetime journey of becoming more like Christ. This means that who you are becoming is better than you were three years ago or even just last year. That the words of death spoken over your life doesn't have a hold over you now. That though you may have shortcomings, the grace that has been freely given to you allows you to pick yourself up when you stumble. And the best thing is that because we have our identity as children of God, nothing that the world calls us or tries to label us as matters. Why? Because being a child of God means we rely and trust God fully. That when we are seeking the validation of our identity for others to affirm, Christ has already affirmed our identity by what He did on the cross for us. And because our identity is in Christ, He calls us His beloved. He loves us, He forgives us, and He redeems us. If you have placed your identity in things other than Christ, can I challenge you to view yourself as a son our daughter of God, who is worthy of the love Christ gives freely to us. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for everything. Thank you for dying on the cross for us, Lord. Thank you for redeeming us and calling us sons and daughters of yours, Lord. Lord, I pray that if we've placed our identity in anything other than you, that you would remind us where our identity should be rooted in, Lord, and that we would find a path back to our identity, first and foremost, rooted in you, Lord. It's in this Jesus' name I pray. Amen.